going to be so weird in Melbourne. And good, too. Good, but weird seeing all my old friends again. Yeah, you have a great time. Yeah, well, you should be going, too. You deserve it. Simple economics. Kaz can't afford to take everyone. Come on, Luke. We're supposed to be there by now. Sorry, Charlie. Melbourne meeting. I'll catch you later. Sure. Okay, I'll see you after. Bye. Race ya. Come on. Charlie. Hey, don't be sad. Maybe the next trip will be somewhere even better than Melbourne. I don't care about the next trip. I want to go on this one. Jerry and JJ get to go. Hey, come on. I'm disappointed too. But there's not much we can do. I'm sure we'll have fun here too. Oh, I guess I'm just not good enough. Don't think that. That's not true. I'm sure Kaz would take us if she could. It's just not our turn this time, that's all. Then when will it be our turn? Soon, I promise. When I'm 102. This really sucks. We'll take the throwing in half box. But if we get the disappearing box finished in time, can we bring that too? It's almost done and it won't take up much space. Oh, all right. All right, I will think about it, OK? Just get the box finished and then I'll have a look at the routine and then I'll decide, OK? <clears throat> Oh, come on. What's one more prop? Yeah. At least we don't have to feed it. Yes! Oh. We'll have to get the box painted and then start rehearsing straight away. This is going to be so excellent. Hey, Craig, do you want to come and give us a hand? We've got to finish off the disappearing box. No, I've got stuff to do. But we need you. You always help us. Not this time. This time you're on your own. Probably best you start getting used to the idea when you're in Melbourne. Boy, I've never seen Craig look so sad. I wish there was some way he could come with us. Me too. Maybe we could smuggle him to Melbourne. Come on, Tony, what are we waiting for? Yeah, coming. That's very good, Tony, yeah. That's the ugliest dive roll I've ever seen in my life. OK, Robert, yeah. That's good. Try to get a little more height, OK? A little more height. Listen, this is not going to be family and friends this time. It's going to be a tough seating audience. And they will expect a lot of good things from us. So, come on, put some effort in. Yes. It's a real circus tan and it seats 600. We get our own caravans on site, but the absolute best bit, no parents. It's going to be so good. I'm sure you'll have a great time. Oh, me and my big mouth. I'll just extract both feet, will I? It's OK. But it's not fair. We could have the best time together. Well, at least Dad's happy. I'm still around to help him with the mustering. Can't beat that for excitement. But you'd better keep a diary or take heaps of photos because I'm going to want to know all about everything, every single second. It's a deal. Come on, Donna, we're waiting. Are you going to train or just talk about it? Sorry, coming. Oh, Alexi, pins and needles. Oh, all right, all right. Down you can. Oh. Here we go. All right. Will I still get to be the ringmaster in Melbourne? <laughs> Too right. He'll be right in the middle. Right in the middle of that big dog. Are you okay? Yeah, I just slipped a bit at the end. It's not a problem. It's okay. Hey, come on, guys. We've got lots of things to do today. I'm sorry, Don. I missed it, so let's do it one more time. Okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Please, Kaz. Well, we just can't see how one very small person could make such a big difference. Well, you should see the look on his face. He's so unhappy. Oh, guys, I really have not got time for this now. I'm due at a production meeting. But he's the essential part to our routine. He loves his place. Are he doing anything for the circus? Guys, I know that Craig is as much part of the circus as what you two are. And I hate making the decision, but there's no way around it. It's a budget problem. We could share our food and take less luggage. And share our caravan. What? He's only small. Please, Cassie, never gets a break. All right, enough. So we can come? You guys never give up, do you? Okay, he can come. But I am holding you two personally responsible. If Craig steps out of line, be it on your heads. Thanks, Kaz. You won't regret this. Yes, I will. So you did hurt yourself? Uh, it's just a twinge. You're supposed to get it checked out. Look, it's nothing. No need to go on about it, okay? You're like my mother. I'm just concerned. Hey, sorry. I'm just a bit tired. Alexi's been working us pretty hard. 
Really? My ankle's fine. I feel like I've been hit by a bus. You too. Every single muscle hurts. Yeah, but it's worth it. I wonder if we'll have a special opening night. Like with the press and stuff. You are such a dag. What? <laughs> It'll be fun. It might even be on TV. Hey, guys. Sorry, I forgot. I sort of promised Dad I'd help him out. I'll have to skip the cafe. You sure? OK. Bye, Charlie. I'll see you tomorrow. I wonder if there will be TV cameras at the open night. I might have to give an interview. What would I say? <laughs> Slipping everything, and it says your name on it. I don't believe you. Please, Craig, we wouldn't kid you. Please just have a look. Well, okay, hand it over. And you guys wait right there. This better not be a trick. You little beauty! You guys did this for me. Uh huh. Oh, you guys were my Timbo's top friends. Actually, Craig, no offence, but we are only friends. You'll be sharing our caravan, but you have to promise, OK? You have to do what we say. No goofing off, no mental attacks, and definitely clean socks. OK, I'll bring a clean pair, I promise. Craig! OK, I'll ask Mum for two pairs. You guys are really my best friends. I'm not going to be home until late tomorrow because Steve wants to do some extra work on the web. Well, don't overdo it. I don't want you too tired for school. Dad, we don't want to look like country hicks. We have to train. <laughs> I know, but just as long as you have time for your schoolwork. Thanks, Dad. Hey, Donna, guess what? JJ, just go a bit slower, sweetheart. We're going to the Junior Museum. It's interactive, where you're supposed to touch absolutely everything. Yeah, and Luke's friend Nick's going to come and see the show, and afterwards he's going to take us out. Oh, that's good, isn't it, Nola? You get to meet him after all. Yeah. How do you mean meet him? Well... Your mum's going with you, aren't you, love? Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. To Melbourne? Mm hmm Yeah. Well, after all your hard work, you don't think I'm going to miss the show, do you? Well, who's going to look after Dad? Oh. <laughs> don't worry about me, I'll be all right. Now, you guys just enjoy yourselves. We are going to have such a great time. Totally embarrassing. I'm not going to be able to do half the stuff with Mum tagging around. Oh, it could be worse. I mean, she could be sharing the caravan. Please don't even joke about that as a possibility. OK, Donna, you're up next. Come on, you're holding up traffic. Where'd you land? Is that your foot? I just twisted my ankle a bit. I'll be all right in a minute. OK. Can you, can you flex? Oh, don't touch it. It's OK. Just don't try and move it. I'd better call her mum. Oh. And get some ice. We'll get it checked out. Now, you all right, sweetheart? Cass called me. Oh, darling, what happened? It's OK, mum. Don't fuss. Looks like a sprain, but we'd better get her checked out just mm. to be on the safe side. Well, I called the doctor. How did this happen, huh? I just tripped while I was tumbling. A stupid soccer ball. Well, what was a ball doing in there? It was just an accident, but she came down pretty hard. Oh, look. I don't have to be Einstein to know that a ball shouldn't be in a room where kids are doing acrobatics. Now, who was supposed to be in charge in there? Oh, I'm sorry. It was a stupid accident. Uh... Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Well, it doesn't seem like there's anything broken. But when the swelling's gone down, I'll order an X-ray, just to be sure. In the meantime, I want you to keep off it, to keep it elevated. Get JJ to wait on you. He'll enjoy that. <laughs> this old bruising, you haven't twisted it recently, have you? Weakened it in any way? No, no, no. She's always been very fit. This is her first serious injury. I will be able to go back to training, won't I? One step at a time. Let's just get the swelling down first. Did you see how this happened? No. Not really. Mum, will you just drop it? It was an accident, OK? Right. Nobody's fault. OK. Charlie, have you got a minute? We need to have a word. 
Oh, look, it's about Donna's accident. Um, our problem is that the tour organisers have specifically asked for the Spanish whip. So what's that got to do with me? We need someone to start training, just in case. But what about Donna? She'll be back once her ankle's better, won't she? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course she will. There's no question about that. But we need to know that we've got someone else. Do you think you're up to it? Me? Mm. Yeah, well, you're the obvious choice, Charlie. It's just for insurance. It might be tough at first, but we'll get there. Will you do it? Well, if you think I can. Yeah, I'd love to give it a go. But as long as we're clear, Donna takes over again once she comes back. Good girl. <sighs> you should see her ankle now. It's blue and dark purple with bits of yellow everywhere. Of course, guess who has to wait on her hand and foot? Hey, guys! Ta-da! What do you think? Not bad, eh? What do you think you're doing? No one asked you to paint it. It was going to be dark blue with stars. Oh, too boring. Anyway, red and yellow would show up the blood better. What blood? We didn't have any blood in our act. Yeah, but after Donna's accident, I've been thinking. You know how they put those camera thingies in people's knees and legs and grind down the bone? Well, instead of disappearing act, we could have something more dramatic, like blood and guts, and maybe a vampire theme. No, no way. You promise, remember, you do what we say. Give me that. This no. is a disappearing act, not a butcher shop. I thought the magazines might help relieve the boredom a bit. Everyone misses you, you know. Me especially. Yeah, I miss you guys too. The only good thing about all this is that I get to boss JJ around. So how's training? What's the goss? Total chaos. Kaz running around like a headless chook. Everyone training full on. That's, um... That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Donna? What's up? Mum, don't be upset. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. What is it? What's the matter? I can't believe this has happened. I mean, it's our first chance to perform somewhere important, and now this. I mean, what if my ankle doesn't get better and I'm not going to be able to go? Hey, come on. You'll be OK. You're the only one who can do the web. Yeah, I guess. Hi, Miss Stutton. What's that all about? This is not the first accident. There's been a number of incidents in a matter of months. Now, something has to be done before someone gets seriously hurt. Nola, Nola, this is circus. Oh. And if you want your kids to have skills, they're going to have to work hard. And like any physical activity, there's bound to be an occasional bruise or, or s sprain or... <sighs> with somebody's spine next time or their neck oh, are we just supposed to hope that this won't happen no of course not that's that's the last thing that we want well then something has to be done look i want melbourne to be a success too and i really understand that the kids are very fond of alexi has to come first oh nola i can assure you that safety is paramount at all times you know, just to reassure you, Alexi and I will see if there's anything we can do to make things even safer. What's happening? What are they going to do to Alexi? Let's just talk, B. They're not going to do anything. We won't let them. Thank you. Thank you. I was expecting you were going to back me up in front of the parents. Now, what am I supposed to do? Wrap the kids up in, in cotton. We cannot exist without the parents' support. And if we have to make a couple of changes to make things safer, then that's exactly what we're going to do. Fine, fine, fine. Well, then get the parents to train the kids. Oh, hey! That soccer ball should not have been on the floor when the kids were doing gymnastics, and you know that as well as I do. Oh, don't give me that look. I don't need any aggro from you guys. What's going to happen now? Training is suspended. At least until we can work out some kind of routine around Steve. But that's stupid. I mean, it wasn't Alexi's fault. What's going to happen to Alexi? Hmm, so you don't like the vampire idea. OK, we can scratch that. All the meat workers. All the night of the brain dead. Oh, so I figure maybe we could do a medical routine. JJ, you could be the mad doctor. Jerry, you could be the nurse. And I could be the patient who you put in the box. And then you wrap me up with bloody bandages, just like a mummy. 
Oh, no, I just remembered. What? Jules, she told me to tell you. She has to measure you for a costume. Now? What costume? She didn't say anything to me. Uh, for the tumbling stuff. Harry, you should think I forgot. Don't do anything without me. When did she tell you that? She didn't. I just had to say that to get him out. Do you and I have to have a really serious talk? Craig is really starting to get on my nervous. Yeah, if he's going to be like this in Melbourne, he'll drive us bonkers. What are we going to do? Oh, no, here we go again. What's that? Donna, welcome to my other nightmare. The sister from hell. I'm getting so sick of this. All right, all right, I'm coming. What is it this time? JJ, can you do me a favour? My ankle's really hurting and I need another cup of tea. And can you pass me the remote? You know, I'm not your slave, you know. Oh, well, that's funny because I looked up slave in the dictionary and do you know what it said? Little brother. Now hop to it and not too much milk and no sugar this time. You're not paralysed. You can do it yourself. It'll be great practice for you while I'm having a fabulous time in Melbourne. Hey, I can make your life just as miserable in Melbourne. And how are you going to do that? Mental telepathy from your lounge chair? What are you talking about? You? You're not going. Yes, I am. My ankle's going to be fine. Then how come Kaz asked Charlie to take over the web? Don't even try to be funny. They wouldn't ask Charlie if they thought you were going. I don't believe you. Charlie would not do that. I saw her training. Where are you going? If you are lying, you better be gone by the time I get back because you'll be history. Much better. Doing really well. Oh, Steve, I've got to take a break. My arms are killing me. Okay, then. Ten minutes. Ah, oh, feels like my arm's about to come out of the socket. Oh, yeah, some phone calls about the ten. Donna, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be resting? I had to come and see for myself. JJ said you took over, but I didn't believe you. That's not true. I didn't think my friend would stab me in the back. But I tried to tell you. When? Next week, or maybe you'd send a postcard from Melbourne. Hey, Jules didn't know anything about a new costume. I reckon you got carried away with all the excitement. Yeah, maybe I must have misunderstood her. Maybe she said... Henry. Yeah, Henry and Craig sound so much alike. Well, we've got no time to lose. We better get started. Yeah, we'll do it just like we rehearsed before, except for a few minor changes. We can't change it now. Kaz will be here soon. Look, it's simple. What happens is I get in the box, JJ says a few magic words, he passes the wand over to Jerry, and then wham, she shoves it in the box. What? Where? Here. Why? So all the blood will come pouring out. What blood? Then the audience will think I've been shish shish and all the blood and guts will come pouring out and then you open the door and gazam! I'm not there. Craig, what is that? Oh, that's the fake blood. The blood! You idiot, Craig, get it out! Uh, hey, what's going on? I'm not ready yet, sorry. Spill paint, it took the fumes, it won't be long. Guys, what are you doing? Get out. You and your dumb ideas. Casting and you come to Melbourne. I wish this was a real disappearing box. Then you might disappear for real. I only wanted to make it more interesting. Well, you're not. You're just being a total pest. So just do what we tell you. The demonstration is now ready. Okay, okay. Got it working properly now? It's perfect. Like clockwork. Okay. Let's see it. Craig, our willing volunteer, doing as he is told, will now step into the box of doom. Good luck, Craig. Well, I wouldn't want to disappear for real, would I? Shh, just get in. <clears throat> and now, whirling winds and big black clouds. I'll show them. I'll show them they can't do it without me. How come you're not training? 
doing with this? Steve is looking after you today. But where are you going? I think it's, it's time for me to take a little break till things cool off a bit. But you can't. We need you. What about Melbourne? Well, you'll be all right. You know what to do. Just keep practicing hard and everything will be all right. But Lexi... Wait. Just remember everything I taught you, and everything will be okay. And I think it's best not to bother anyone about this. You promise? Okay. Okay. And once more I call on Craig. And all these missing molecules together swirl and reappear. Otherwise they will be in really big trouble. I'm sorry, guys. I think it still needs a bit of work. Maybe next season? Craig! I bet he snuck out here somewhere. Craig! Craig! Where are you? You're going to be sorry. I'll kill him. I'll really kill him. After all we've done for him, why would he do that to us? I'll double kill him. Thank you. 